I love making these stockings for gift card holders and hostess gifts, but you can use them for so much more. They work up really fast and you can probably whip up a few with the scraps you have in your stash. The step-by-step -step tutorial is coming up. My name is Brittany and I'm your guide to better crochet and knitting because I believe yarn does more than make pretty things. I craft because it occupies my hands and it calms my mind. I love the process and something pretty is the result. I want that for you too. Here, we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe yarn can do more for us than make pretty things. I'll be breaking this stocking down into little bite-sized sections and we're gonna start off with the band. You'll begin with color A, create a slip knot, and make 20 chains. Then join with a slip stitch to your first chain to make a ring. Now chain one, which won't count as a stitch, and make a single crochet in every single chain. Now at the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches and we're not going to join. Instead, continue working in a spiral. So grab a stitch marker, single crochet in the first, single crochet of the first round, and then mark this new stitch with your marker so now you know what the first stitch of the round is. There's a really simple repeat here for rounds two through eight. You're just going to single crochet once into every single stitch. If you need help counting your rows, I find it helpful to carry the stitch marker as you go. That way you can keep track of those rounds. Now at the end of round eight, you can go ahead and remove your stitch marker and then slip stitch in that stitch. Then we'll fasten off color A. Fold it inside out. And then fold it down so that the right side of the work faces outward. Next, we're moving on to the leg. We'll fasten on color B in the stitch next to your slip knot from your foundation chain. This will be the layer on the inside of your fold. Then go ahead and chain three, which will count as a double crochet, and then double crochet in every single one of your foundation chains. At the end of the round, you'll join with the slip stitch to your third chain and you'll have 20 stitches. Now another simple repeat here, rounds two through eight of the leg section are worked exactly the same. Chain three, which will count as a stitch, and then double crochet in every stitch. And don't forget to join at the end with the slip stitch to your third chain. At the end of round six, you'll fasten off color B and we'll pick up now on the heel. Count over four stitches from your join and fasten on color A once again. Then chain one and single crochet in the same stitch as that chain 
and single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. At this point, you'll have a total of 10 stitches. All right, for row two, chain one and turn your work, then single crochet two together, followed by one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Then single crochet two together to finish off that row, you'll have a total of eight stitches. All right, for row three, we'll chain one and turn again, single crochet two together, then single crochet in each of the next four stitches, followed by a single crochet two together. We're gonna to follow the same trend here as we decrease to shape the heel. Now for row four, chain one, turn again, single crochet two together, then single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and single crochet two together. Now you should have four stitches left. For row five, chain one and turn, single crochet two together twice. And that'll leave you with two stitches. All right, now for row six, we'll start increasing to finish up the shaping. It's gonna look sort of like an hourglass by the time we get finished with it. So you'll chain one and turn, then make two single crochets in both of your two stitches for a total of four. Now for row seven, chain one, turn your work, make two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two single crochets in the last. That'll bring you up to six stitches. Okay, moving on to row eight, chain one and turn, Make two single crochets in the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then two single crochets in the last. Now you should have eight stitches. The last row of the heel is row number nine. You'll chain one in turn, make two single crochets in the first stitch, and one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Then you'll make two single crochets in the last stitch to bring your stitch count back to 10. Now we'll fasten off, but leave a tail that's about six inches long. You'll use this tail to seam up the sides of the heel. But before we do that, we need to mark one of these heel stitches. So count to the fifth stitch from the edge of your last row and mark that with a stitch marker. That'll be the placement for when we fasten on for the foot part of the stocking, but we're not quite there yet. Fold the top half of your heel down and then thread that tail on your darning needle and then just stitch up the sides. You can use a whip stitch or whatever you're comfortable with here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then go ahead and hide your ends while you're at it. This is gonna be the easiest point for you to reach some of these ends here on the bottom of the stocking. So I recommend go ahead and weaving them in now while you have easy access to them. All 
Once you have that sewn up, you've got your ends hidden, you'll just flip your heel so that it's sort of right side out and you magically have a heel shape. So now we're moving on to the foot. Fasten on color B in your marked stitch. Chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next four stitches. And then we'll single crochet two together. The, the two stitches we're single crocheting together are the last stitch of your heel and the first stitch of your leg. From there, you'll single crochet in the next eight double crochet. and then single crochet two together again. Then single crochet in the last three stitches. And then join with the slip stitch to your first stitch. We're gonna pick up again with double crochets now to keep consistent with our pattern. So we'll go ahead and chain three, which will count as a double crochet, and then double crochet in the next four stitches. Then double crochet two together. Then double crochet once in each of the next seven stitches. And then double crochet two together. Then double crochet in the last two stitches. and join with a slip stitch to your third chain. Rounds three and four of the foot have the same repeat. So for each of those, we'll chain three and then double crochet in every stitch. By the way, you should have a total of 16 stitches for each of these rounds. Then of course, don't forget to join with a slip stitch to your third chain at the end of these rounds. Now at the end of the fourth round, we'll go ahead and switch to color A. And that brings us to the toe. Chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then single crochet once in each of the next five stitches. Then single crochet two together. And single crochet in the next six stitches. and single crochet two together. Then you'll join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. For round two of the toe, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. Then single crochet two together. 
followed by one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And then for your last two, you'll single crochet two together. And of course, join with a slip stitch to your first stitch. That'll leave you with 12 stitches. Now for round three, we'll chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next stitch. And then we have a small repeat here. You'll single crochet two together followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. You'll repeat that two more times to get you to the end of the round. And then you'll join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. All right, moving on to round four of the toe, we'll chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Now here's the repeat for this round. You'll single crochet two together, then single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that to the last two stitches. And you'll single crochet those last two together and join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. Now the last round of the toe is round five. And for this one, we're going to single crochet three together two times. Then fasten off and weave in all of your ends. and enjoy your stocking. That wraps up this Bee Hooked tutorial, the place where we love yarn, we love to learn, and we believe yarn can do more for us than just make pretty things. Subscribe for continued progress, and I'll see you in the next one.